Hello everybody, I'm Jackie K. Cooper and this is my entertainment rundown. Well, I took another poll last week of the movies that you were most interested in seeing and the number one movie popped right up there and it was the highest ranked new movie of the week. That is Good Boys. And this is the film about six graders, 12 year olds who uh, have some problems trying to be popular and the things that ensue. It stars Jacob Tremblay he, and he has two buddies in the film played by Keith L. Williams and Brady Noon and they are the Bing Bag Boys. They got that name because they had Bing Bag chairs and they are you know going through you know being tweens and they want to be popular and Jacob Tremblay's character is the one who is most popular in their grade. Uh, the other two are just kind of in his orbit. But he gets invited to a party and it is a kissing party. And he manages to you know, convince the kid who's throwing the party that his two buddies should also be invited. But then they're concerned with, you know, they've never kissed a girl before so they want to know what kissing is really all about so his father played by Will Forte has a drone and he's been told specifically do not touch the drone do not touch the drone but they decide to use the drone to spy on the girl next door to see her kissing her boyfriend and they think that they can learn lessons from that well of course they take the drone uh, the girls capture, two, two girls are next door and the boyfriend's gone, but they capture the drone and then other things ensue. But it's a pretty flimsy excuse for a plot, but you know, it is what it is. The main lure of this movie is seeing, you know, 12 year olds use every foul word that they can use. They, they use the F word over and over and then they throw in some more profanity they get in, um, involved, you know, talking about sex and their concept of sex, etc. Is this what entertainment has come to these days? That we want to watch 12-year-olds use profanity and talk about sex or their misconceptions about sex. I just, you know, what is next? You know, kindergartners, uh, you know, doing the same thing, using profanity, etc. It seems like somebody in Hollywood has the idea that if you have kids, you know, using foul language, then your comedy is made because every time they use a word, then the audience is supposed supposed to roar with with laughter. Annabelle, get the fuck out of here! Be bad boys only, you little shit. Annabelle's been watching Dateline. She now knows what cocaine is. That's not my concept of entertainment. That's not really what I want to go see in a movie. But that is what this movie is all about. From beginning to end, it's like I said, it's just got this flimsy little plot line that they hatched. But it's seeing the kids curse and use profanity and, and all of that. I, I just I just don't get it. But hey, it was the highest rated, ranked movie of the weekend, so somebody out there wants to go see it. Uh, it's funny because the 12 year olds will not be able to see it because it's an R-rated movie for profanity and drug use. I scored it 3 out of 10. Okay, I'm 150 years old. I'm set in my ways. I don't want to hear this language coming out of the mouths of kids, and I've got to wonder to myself, what kind of parents let their children use this kind of language, even if, if it is for a movie? I saw an interview with Jacob Tremblay, and he was saying, oh my gosh, if I ever use that kind of language at home, you know, my parents would, you know, ground me forever or whatever. But yet, they put him up on the screen or allowed to be on the screen saying it for the whole world to see. Like I said, it's not my idea of entertainment. Good boys, rated R gets a 3 out of 10. That is my entertainment rundown for today. Be sure and push the subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber, and we'll see you again next time.